Hello Gemini, this is your tarot scope reading for the month of January 2016 and I will also be covering all of 2016. I'll be doing a 13 card spread and I'll be reading from the Soraya tarot deck. So the first card that comes up is the Queen of Wands. This indicates a confidant, power, charm. So you'll be in association with, or you'll be meeting somebody who is a female. She will have dynamic qualities. Uh, she will also have a very, uh, very nice, she'll be very charming, a nice personality. She'll be dominating, and she will probably be the type of person that's in a supervisory position, or she may be the owner of a business. Um, but what is important for you, Gemini, is that try to keep an open mind and try to be very nice to this particular uh, female because she will be providing you with invaluable advice and information in the next few months. She will provide you with advice that may be related to financial matters as well as your career matters and if you do listen to her she she doesn't have a malicious type of um, personality or attitude she's not like that she's not malicious she's uh, she already she's secure she's secure about herself uh, so she's not worried and that, you know, if she helps you, that you'll be succeeding and that you'll be more than her, which she is. No, she, she'll just, she just wants to help just for the sake of helping. So when you do receive any help from this particular character, just be very open, very, very nice, and uh, it's a good person to have as a friend. The next card is the Six of Wands. Victory, good news, and achievement. That is what this card circulates. Um, it's an amazing card to have. It really shows um, good opportunities. It shows uh, that you will be recognized for your skills. And you may receive a job offer that you did apply for. You may even receive some type of an offer related to your career um, and a job that you did not apply for. It may be through somebody that you may receive some type of an offer. And uh, you may even receive an offer for a, a new home. Uh, there's maybe something related to the job that might also have some accommodation. Um, the person concerned if, uh, if, you're, if you are uh, competing uh, just know that if you're competing for something, um, this is considered a winning card. So you will be kind of, I guess you will be getting what you want. Um, if those of you have just started, you may not get, you know, 100%, but you may just get maybe 35 or 40. But the good thing to know is that you are, will be receiving something and it will be positive. You might also receive some type of a communication like a letter or something that will arrive to you and it may even contain money, perhaps a check or something. Um, this payment, it may be for something that you had uh, done in the past. Um, it might be something related to a return, maybe uh, a loan you had provided to somebody, but you will be receiving some type of money back that was owed to you. Um, and you'll also be uh, receiving some good news. Some of you will be receiving some good news regarding an increase in your salary. But overall, the Six of Wands is a really good card. It does show that because of your hard work, uh, dedication, um, your skills, your experience, your even your education, um, you will be recognized. And it will be such a good achievement that it will make a difference in your life. And this is... Um, this is what's going to happen. Uh, maybe even 
uh, near the end of January or in the coming year, definitely. Um, it will be some time and uh, just, just keep at it. You will achieve something really nice and uh, it will be victorious. And you wouldn't have gotten that far if it wasn't for you working as hard as you have. So, uh, so good luck to you. And uh, I know for sure that uh, good things are, are going to come. The next card is the High Priestess. This indicates secrets, papers, certificates, and degrees. So the High Priestess is uh, quite a neat character. Um, she has knowledge of times gone by and knowledge of times to come. In this particular spread, what I see is that there will be certain situations uh, this coming year where you're going to have to dedicate a lot, and I mean a lot, of time on paperwork or paper. It will surround you. Um, it may be related to home. It may be related to work, and there may be other surprises. There may be renewals and reunions um, for um, maybe high school or university or college. Um, higher education you'll be dealing with. There may be some degrees, diplomas, and contracts. Um, these are all indicated something related to paperwork, certificates, and degrees. Um, there is a lot of uh, learning, so you may want to perhaps look into uh, learning something and because of that you will naturally receive some type of uh, recognition or some type of certificate but more of it's on paper so you'll be receiving a lot of paper documents um, in the coming year there may be a time when you're going to be literally surrounded by documents and you're going to have to keep in check and uh, basically go through each document and not rush it because you may find yourself to be overwhelmed at one point. So when you do deal with these documents, just make sure to take your sweet time and uh, read them thoroughly. The next card is the world. This indicates the end of a period, a phase, or a situation that you have uh, been uh, this past year or these many years. It does show that something is going to end and it may be some type of behavior it may be some type of lifestyle but uh, you will be experiencing tremendous frustration and the feeling of restriction and uh, it's because you're unable to change from the cycle and you need to understand that eventually you will be released from the cycle and you can only make the change if you change it yourself. So in 2016, there's going to be something in your world, your world, that you will want to change. Something very serious, something that you feel very passionate about. And the one thing that you will keep in mind is that you will not repeat your mistakes. So lessons will be learned. You will um, know what to avoid because you have already been through so much. So whatever change you will make will be related to something that you already know. And you would have had a bad experience regarding this particular change. So something that you wanted to change um, you know, just for an example, if it's uh, something like a relationship, if you wanted to change the relationship, you know that a certain individual doesn't like it when you do, you know, such and such. And you, you know, you keep doing that same thing and it upsets the other person. So there may be a situation where you'll know what it is that's upsetting someone or the situation and uh, you will try to take charge and you'll try to change that routine. You're going to try to change that situation. And hopefully, if you do, most likely it would be uh, it would be better. You'll have a better positive outcome. And, you know, your relationships and your social circle, uh, everything would be more positive. So try to make a change in your life, in your world. 
and uh, it does say that it should be positive and you won't have to be going in circles over and over again you will see something different something different will happen after you make the change the next card is the four of pentacles this indicates financial stability so this card is a good solid card to have in any reading because it indicates financial security and financial stability sometimes this can also be achieved through um, our own efforts or um, in this in case of this reading your own efforts um, because someone has played a part in changing your life uh, the Four of Pentacles can also can indicate the arrival of uh, maybe a special person uh, who is uh, close to you, uh, someone close to you uh, in your life. And this person may ease some financial burden that you have been facing. Uh, this could be uh, maybe through a marriage. It could be through a live-in arrangement. Uh, it could just be a simple um, roommate or somebody that wants to maybe live with you and because they would be sharing the rent uh, or the lease, it would ease the burden financially from you. So definitely, definitely, uh, dear Gemini, look for financial stability this year because you will be receiving it. And it's a really good, um, uh, really good card. Um, most likely we'll be discussing some type of a live-in relationship or a live-in arrangement um, and this is definitely going to benefit you um, but if you do think of all of the aspects how you're going to be living with this person if you're actually compatible even if it's a simple roommate do you like their habits can you actually tolerate them um, because you might have another price to pay, you see. So it is, uh, it is, uh, you know, it's a tricky one. There, you you may get something that you want, but then you might have to sacrifice something. So, you know, you might have uh, a couple of people that want to move in, and you can share the rent or whatever. But you have to study or something, and they make too much noise. You can't study, so you're kind of stuck. Um, it's very difficult to find out what, you know, how is somebody going to be if you're not even living with them. But in terms of roommates, that's personal experience. Um, however, if it is definitely a romantic relationship, you probably would know the person better and um, it will help you definitely. So if you do get an offer, do look into it. And, uh, you know, if you want to maybe, um, talk about it further, you know, I can always maybe do a reading, I can't give you a 100% uh, you know, result as to what might be there, but I can always maybe guide you um, we can maybe talk about the person or something, we can find out you know, is it compatible, is it going to work uh, sometimes I am able to, to sense these things so that's why I'm just putting it out there, if you really do have issues, I could maybe help you with that as well so the four of pentacles is really good you'll have financial stability now on with the next one the next card is the nine of pentacles this shows abundance plenty end of worries this card indicates uh, plenty and abundance and the realization that all is well and that you may have nothing to worry about at all. It may also indicate to some of you that you may not have to work as hard as you used to for a living. You may get a pay raise or you may even get a better position and this will improve your finances to a level that you're definitely going to be happy with. This comes through your past experiences, your skills. So uh, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Keep working hard because uh, there's going to be an end to your worries that are financially um, there. You may be halfway there right now, but um, 
you are you are reaching that goal and uh, it's, it's a really good card to have you will be getting plenty there's going to be a lot of abundance uh, there's more happiness there's more positive attitude and uh, if you keep hard, keep working hard you will uh, you can actually achieve that if you just um, if you don't then you're not it's not going to happen because this is only going to happen if you actually work for it and you will see the results uh, karma will happen, it will show, so don't give up. Um, if you are worried financially, good things are going to happen, just be, you have to be dedicated. Now the next card is the Knight of Cups. This shows love, friendship, and perhaps even a welcome return from the past. There may be a friendship, a partnership, some kind of a relationship, um, even romantic relationship that links to your past and uh, someone may be coming back into your life. You'll reconnect with this someone. Uh, Cancerians, uh, someone under the sign of Scorpio, Pisces, um, there, someone may be from this sign that is related to the person that's going to be coming from your past. It's not necessary, but um, basically that's what it says here in the book. Um, it could be anybody, that's what I believe. It doesn't have to be necessarily them. Uh, what's quite interesting is that uh, it does say that, and I'm quoting this right from the book, a loved one will return and will be ready to try again. But you have to be very careful about this because you have to remember why your situation or your relationship ended in the first place why the relationship ended. This relationship can be partner-based business. It can also be romantic. Or um, just simple friendship even. Maybe even with your relatives. Maybe with your father or someone. You need to understand that if you want to patch up things, if you want to be um, compatible, or if you want to be friends again, you're going to have to understand why you discontinued being friendly in the first place. What happened between you? You know, once bitten, twice as shy. Will the problem happen again? Like, will you go through the same thing? Is it even worth it? So you're going to have to definitely think about this particular person who is going to come back into your life. Are you going to give them a second chance? Second chances are always good. Maybe you should. But then just be wary of it. Just be a bit careful. Don't be so vulnerable. Don't be so gullible. Um, but if everything works out for the better, then it's a very promising card to have. I mean, it can be something permanent, a permanent relationship. So when you do get somebody that comes in your past, if there's a reunion, just be, you know, accept it, but be careful. Just don't, you know, don't wear your heart on your sleeve, so to speak. So, um... You just have to be a bit more strong, especially if it's somebody that you already dealt with in the past. The next card is the Five of Cups. This indicates loss, regret, missed opportunity. So, dear Gemini, you're going to feel quite upset. You're going to feel regret and maybe even a bit of sorrow and loss. Um, in the next coming months or in this next year, you're going to be making a decision that you're going to regret or you're going to feel that you're going to regret. You may feel that you missed out on an opportunity. This may be partnership related. This may be romantic. Um, you might feel that you did not take the opportunity and then you keep wondering that could it have turned into something better? What the card says here is that that time will pass. And it does show that somebody new, somebody special, will come into your life this year. It may be a friend, it may be a partner, it may be a romantic relationship, but it is a positive relationship. You will feel sad at one point and 
as bad as that sounds, you will feel loss and regret. You'll, you just won't like yourself for making the decision that you did. So please rest assured that you don't have to worry about it because something good will come out of that. You are going to meet somebody who is special to you. That person will like you for who you are. So just don't worry about it because um, it's, it's a phase. You're going to have to go uh, and get over this first. But um, good times will follow, even if it doesn't, if it does seem impossible um, at that present situation. Where, you know, when you're being in that situation, don't think it's the end of the world. You can see beyond that. Boy, oh boy, this is getting depressing. Um, the Eight of Cups is the next card. And dear Gemini, it may sound depressing, but it's not. It's a lesson. You will feel a need to move on, discontentment, and um, you're going to want to change your situation because of something that happens. And uh, it's, it most likely will be either business related or it may even be romantic partnership related. You might not be able to tolerate or um, deal with the person that you were close to at one point. And because of this, you might want to physically move your location, your place of residence. You might want to move out of that area because you're trying to avoid that person. So if you can't tolerate a particular individual, if you feel like your dreams and hopes have been shattered, that you, you, know, you feel miserable, unfulfilled, you know, do keep in mind that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's a reason why things happen. I always stress that there's a reason why things happen. And you will move on. And this may be a good thing for you as well because um, for some of you out there, you're very highly sensitive, very emotional, um, a very, you know, a dual personality. You're, there's a lot of uh, things inside you that sometimes you, self, you doubt yourself as well. But know this, that when you do make your decision to move on, it's going to be a good decision. It's going to be in your favor, and it's going to be what you feel is right. And you will do it because you have learned from pure previous experiences. And this time when you make uh, your particular action, it will be because you want to leave that cycle. You want to leave that uh, lifestyle. You want to change your situation and you'll do that. So the result will definitely be positive after you move on, after you change your situation. It doesn't actually mean that you have to move. You don't have to move. You just change your situation. You change the way you think. You approach it from a different angle. The next card is a lifesaver. The Seven of Pentacles. This indicates miracles, unexpected events, breakthroughs. So something that you weren't expecting that would happen, a situation, um, a routine that you were not expecting to change. Somehow something is going to change in the next year when you will be very upset, when you'll want to move on in your life. Suddenly something will happen and it'll click and you will be absolutely happy. You will, you'll consider it a miracle. This may be business related, maybe a business deal. This may be romantic. So something that you thought that may not happen, it will happen. So definitely, definitely, I tell you, keep your chin up. Because <laughs> uh, this is an amazing card after those two cards. This is a really positive card to have. It's literally, um, it's a breakthrough. Something good is definitely going to happen. And it will happen right at the last minute. And it'll be a series of events that you just did not even expect. Now, this might be something small, but it might be something big. But if it came in a reading like this for the entire year, there's going to be something in your life this year that's going to be quite important. 
and you're going to feel sad about it at one point, but then eventually you're going to be surprised because something good will come out of it and it will be unexpected. It will be, it will be like a present for you suddenly, like it's a surprise present. The next card is the Page of Swords. The key words here are an award, possible official trouble, aloofness. This card seems to be a bit dual. It has some good points and it has some bad points. So this may uh, apply to some of you, but not all, uh, and vice versa. Um, it does say to expect tax, social security, uh, notifications, some type of problem that may occur on an official nature, um, registered or recorded uh, delivery letters, um, something regarding court summons. Uh, you may receive some type of information regarding um, official, like something official, and uh, it's just going to kind of catch you off guard, but when you do come to this point, uh, just note that you have to get this done as soon as possible, because this may cause you some official trouble. You might uh, file your income tax uh, maybe very late, uh, maybe you have a business but you didn't register it. Um, you know, maybe there's certain things you're not claiming, maybe you forgot some documents, um, maybe you lost some documents. So be very careful with any documentation that you deal with, you know, whether it's um, domestic, like your home, your house, mortgage, uh, documents, lease documents, agreements, contracts. And um, in terms of, um, like, business, you know, just make sure that your business license, if, you, if it's expired, Make sure that it's renewed. Uh, there's small things, you know, at the end of the year that uh, a lot of things people miss out on, like even their insurance policies or their, their house policy. Um, so keep that in mind because this year you might actually forget something and it might cost you. It, you may just receive a fine or uh, you might just get some type of official trouble. So try not to be so aloof. Try to be very active. Try to know what it is that's happening. Someone under the sign of Taurus might also be of some influence to you. It might be a friend, uh, male or female. But this particular person will probably help you uh, with these documents if you do get into some type of uh, trouble. But uh, do keep in mind that try to do everything on time this year because it does say that you will have some type of um, problems with your official documents. So maybe you can avoid that this year by um, you know, looking into it beforehand, noting everything down uh, on your calendar, perhaps. The twelfth card in the reading is the Three of Cups. This is a really nice uh, card to have in a reading. It's a good sign. Um, it indicates celebrations groups and uh, friendships and there may be some type of a celebration that you may hold or you may be invited to that you may not be looking forward to some of you um, go there anyway you won't regret it it seems like you have completed something some type of uh, a phase in your life, maybe you just uh, graduated and you want to celebrate. It also indicates that this year is a year for you to get back to your roots, find out who your family is, what family ties you have. Look into your friendships again. You may have stopped speaking to some of your friends because of your busy schedule. It really says that uh, it wants you to appreciate your life and it wants you to give thanks for the life that you have, for the people that you do know. So increasing your friendship in 2016, celebrating, being happy, it seems like you have not been 
participating in that. So I would suggest definitely make it this year, 2016, that you are going to do that. You are going to make your family ties stronger. You're going to network with people. You're going to socialize. You're going to have more friends. And this will make you feel, uh, it will just make you feel much better as well. It'll also open up new doors and opportunities to people and uh, uh, things that you didn't think of before that you could have been introduced to. Um, it will definitely end a period of suffering. Um, you'll notice that there'll be uh, fruition in your labor. All the stuff that you have done, there'll be success in the long run. So you can definitely look forward to the coming year to have uh, some type of celebration and uh, you'll really be happy. You may want, might not want to attend, um, but it does indicate that if you do, you won't regret it. It is a benefit for you to actually attend. The last card in this 13th spread reading is the King of Wands. That's a wonderful card to have to end the reading. Um, he indicates and he represents leadership, dynamism, um, career decisions even. In the reading, uh, this card does often show a person who will present you with a business opportunity or offer you a new career or a promotion in your existing profession. Um, it can also indicate um, or represent the need for you, yourself, to set goals and to express your ideas better, especially in the workplace. The card might also indicate that you may be in for a windfall. Keep in mind that you may meet a mature man this year. And this mature man may be able to help you achieve your career goals. His decision will matter. So if there's somebody that you feel that is helpful, be on his good side. Um, you know, try to take him out for coffee. Just uh, try to be his friend. Because if you make a good impression on this particular gentleman, he will be able to um, help maybe someone in the hiring process um, make, a, make a better decision about you. He may be your reference, perhaps. But he will have a big, big, uh, I guess, position in offering you. Or he'll have a big influence. That's what I'm looking for. He'll be able to influence the other party. So keep in mind, in 2016, you are going to meet a very influential and powerful man and he will have the power to help you um, reach your goals and your career um, ambition. So keep on his good side and uh, good things will come. Now the re next reading is from the Angel Therapy deck. That's by Doreen Virtues. Um, the reason why I really want to read from this deck as well is because it's therapeutic. It helps you, it guides you, it tells you what to do in order to make your situation better. So I'm doing a five card spread and I will be reading um, what you can do to change your uh, situation, how you can do it, and uh, how particular angels or um, entities, how they can help you. Archangel Michael is the first card, one of my favorites, and one of the most powerful archangels. It says here, you're working very closely with this powerful angel, or rather archangel, who is protecting and guiding you through this particular situation. So dear Gemini, there is a situation that has been bothering you, and it is this angel who eradicates the effects of fear, provides you protection. It provides you protection, your loved one's protection, 
and the things around you, the situations around you. Uh, his courage is like a backbone in the face of you taking um, intimidating actions. It does say here, if you consider making life changes such as leaving a job or leaving a relationship, ask Archangel Michael for guidance and help in moving forward fearlessly. Michael can also assist you in finding your life's purpose and he can tell you what steps to take next on your spiritual and career paths. So that was the first card reading, now I'm going to go to the second one. The next card is Third Eye Chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms such as angels, auras, and visions. So this card comes to you and responds to your questions about your future. You have visions about yourself, and you're wondering whether they're real or imagination. Well, the angels are assuring you that you are having accurate insights, and that they wish that your visual spiritual gifts, that you would use them. You need to keep in mind, Gemini, that your intuition is quite high and you are attuned to it. So don't ignore certain things that you think that you should do. If you hear a voice in your head that is your unconscious speaking, you may feel that something is right. But because of someone else, you may just change your mind. I'm not saying to be stubborn. <laughs> Please don't be stubborn. I'm just saying to keep an open mind and to think of things logically. If you do feel that, you know, you have a gut feeling about something, do what you feel is right because you are also a powerful being. Do not second guess yourself for a second. The next card is Heal Away Addictions. And it says here, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So, what you need to do is, in the coming year, think about the things that can make you happy, can make you more healthier. And then think of if you are applying that lifestyle to yourself. If you're not, find out why you're not. Try to get rid of any addictions that you may have. This may be dependency on people, on alcohol, it might be on drugs, it might be any type of addiction, it might be gambling even. You have a negative effect when you do that it robs you of energy and confidence and it blocks any answers um, that you may be wanting to receive. Um, you may even be religious, you might pray, yet you might not receive that information that you need and it's because of the dependency on this type of addiction. You can't be addicted to something, you have to be free. It means the addiction owns you you have to own it. So don't let the addiction rule your life because what happens is it's very negative and it creates a negative aura around you. What you need to do is break free from that and be accepting to all good things. And you need to prove and you need to show that you are not dependent on something in particular. You can go beyond that. As hard as that sounds, there are ways of making it happen. You can change your situation. You can change your surroundings. You can change your medicines. You can express yourself. You can express yourself creatively. That can also release certain burdens, certain tensions and stress. So there's always a way out. So please, some of you that do have certain type of addictions, and addictions may range, you know, from simple addictions to massive addictions, uh, but just know that you do have the willpower to change it. 
and I would suggest that, you know, if you find that you can't, seek some medical advice, go to a doctor, find out what you can do and how you can do it. It can be healed. You know, your life is important, your health is wealth, it's very important. So please get yourself checked up and uh, try to get rid of these addictions. When you do, your path will be much more clear. Good things will definitely come to you. The next card is Cancel, Clear, Delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they rapidly manifest into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So this card basically says that you may be in a situation where you are living or you are in an environment that is very negative. And because people speak negative, it affects human beings that way too. And it repels any goodness that we are to receive. So what you need to do is you need to cut it, cancel it, delete it from your life. You don't need it. It's not making you a better person. It's not bringing any more goodness into your life. 2016 is the time for you to think of this and to actually make it happen. You know, life is too short. You have the opportunity. You know that this card came. It means that you have to get rid of certain things in your life that are causing you to just, you know, be depressed, be upset, be irritated. Change your situation for the better. There are different ways of changing it. I mean, you know, if you if you want to talk, I'm always here. You can always email me to discuss things. But um, there's always ways for you to change things, change your situation. And uh, it's never, never too late. Once you do, you'll feel much more positive. You'll feel the difference. You will see the difference in your everyday life. You'll see miracles happen. And uh, it, it, it's true. Things like that happen. Once you become a much more positive person, you attract positive. So try to change your atmosphere. Try to change the people that you're with, the crowd that you're with. Uh, maybe the type of, uh, you know, the type of movies that you see. Things have to be a bit more positive. So get rid of the stuff that you don't need in your life. Get rid of the stuff that don't make you a better person. Get rid of that. Delete it. The last card in the reading that I have here, it says vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energies from you, from your surroundings, from the situation, and everyone involved. So, dear Gemini, it seems that there is some type of situation that you fear you're, you feel that you're caught up in, and it's an endless cycle, and you're afraid to change it. This may be from an addiction. You might think that if you change it, you are afraid of the unknown. But you have to take a chance. You have to take a leap of faith and you can make a difference. All you need is support. And there's always support out there. There's always people out there willing to help. So don't feel that you're alone. You know, if you have an addiction, if you feel that there is a simple cycle in your life that's just not changing, there are ways of changing it. The only person that can do it is you. And for 2016, since this is the last card in this particular deck uh, reading, um, it's very important that you make the difference. You make that decision because it is possible. And that is the end of the second part um, of the Angel Therapy deck reading. I'm going to finally read uh, the Goddess Oracle. I'm going to do a three spread, three card spread, and um, the, the person that uh, wrote the book is Amy Marashinsky. So um, I will be doing a three card spread and I will read the first one now. 
So just before I begin, I prefer to do this particular card uh, right at the end, these three cards. Um, it, can, it kind of consolidates all that I've read and it breaks it down into three categories. So this will help you focus on what you need to change and how you need to help yourself this coming year. So the first card is Nu Kua. It seems that Nu Kua has floated into your life um, because she wants to create order from chaos. She creates order. You have been, maybe this year, maybe last year, maybe for many years, you have not seemed to be, be so organized. You're not very organized. It seems like there's been things that you've wanted to do and you have not been able to do them. And you try to organize and prioritize things. But other things, other obstacles get in the way of organizing. So in the reading, it says that when life is ordered in the natural way, you nurture your path to wholeness. When you forcibly impose something unnatural from without, you create rebellion and resistance. So if something has been bothering you, you know, these past few years, it might be your boss, your family, um, your partner, uh, it might be some type of work-related um, issues that you might be having. The only way you'll be able to fully appreciate and um, live with yourself is if you change it because you want to change it. If you change it just for the sake of it, you're not going to feel good about it. So because this particular card came, it does mean that in 2016 it is vital that you change your perspective, the way you think about situations. You will not be able to change people. You may not be able to change your situation, but you can change the way you react to those situations. You're going to have to take a different perspective, look at it in a different angle, and you will notice that things do make sense in a certain, you know, there's a method to the madness. In a certain way, something does make sense. So once you understand this, you will be a better person, you will be a happier person. You won't feel upset because you are trying to accommodate someone. You will actually be accommodating yourself. I'm not sure, in all honesty, how you're going to do this, but I do believe when the time is right, you will make the proper choice, and you will be perhaps provided with options, and you will make the right choice, and you will be happy with it because this particular um, deity, this goddess, she wants you to make order from chaos. Make sure that you do that this year. Make sure that you put all your priorities in a list and you put them straight. You get rid of the stuff you cut, you delete. You get rid of the stuff that you do not need. You put things in order for once. Start doing things for yourself. It seems from these readings that you've been doing a lot of things for other people in the past and you've been doing little bits here and there for yourself. Try to focus a lot on yourself this year. The next card is Oya. Oya means or indicates or it, it represents change. Ha ha ha. Uh, exactly what I have been stressing on throughout the entire reading. You need to change. Changes are going to happen and some of the changes may be unexpected, some of them may be intentional, but it's not going to be the same. Your lifestyle, your life's purpose, your aims, your ambitions in 2016 are going to change and they're going to change for what you believe in. They're going to change for what you want. So it says here, and I'm reading right from the book, Oya says that the earth must be dug up before anything can be planted and that change always brings you what you need on your path to wholeness. So there will be change, 
and you will have to change it right from the foundations. You're going to have to build it right from the ground up. But the good thing is, whatever changes you're making, you're going to make it because you're already experienced, because you already know how to make those changes. You've already seen one side of the situation, and you've seen what the other side is like, but you will choose the other side. You will choose change, and that is a very, very big thing. I mean, first the card was order, now the card is change. So first you're going to put things in order, you're going to know what the priority is, you're going to know exactly what's happening.